He's changed his mind in the last two weeks. Nasultan Nazarbayev, president of Kazakhstan in Central Asia, the first directly elected president of the Soviet Union's second largest republic. He didn't back the attempt to topple Mikhail Gorbachev and now has a vision of the way ahead. But when we spoke to him two weeks ago, he had no doubt where his political loyalties lay. Will you always be a communist? Yes, I just have a communist. И не собираюсь пока менять этого своего курса. Почему я не должен опираться на реальную политическую силу, которая сегодня в нашей республике есть? Это было бы неправильно. Тогда надо прямо сказать. Now the situation has changed. In the light of the failed coup, he's left the Politburo and is calling for a confederation of nations to replace the old Soviet Union. He says the positive side of communism should be preserved and given some role in the years ahead. Вот коммунистическая партия, она была не партия, вросшая система хозяйственная, я прямо скажу. Она вросла в административно-командную систему и действовала в этом ключе. Сейчас ее надо превратить в прогрессивную часть. At the age of 51, Nazarbayev has brought a youthful vigor to the top of Central Asian politics. He's the son of Kazakh peasants who, according to his aides, sold their only cow so he would have the chance to pursue his education. He rose swiftly through Communist Party ranks and before the coup was an active supporter of free economic ties between the republics, something he's been pushing even harder this week in Moscow. Я считаю, все придут, потому что когда будет рынок, когда будет свободные предприятия, когда будет свободная торговля, огромный советский рынок никто не может пренебречь. He's put the free market into practice in the Kazakh capital Almaty. People stand in line to buy honey from a privately owned store, the first in the city to be sold off under Nazarbayev's program of privatization. And his economic program has already taken him to Korea, Singapore and China, seeking the foreign investment his plan depends on. Now, he says, the republics must have the right to determine their own foreign policy, bypassing Moscow and establishing ties abroad. Но каждая республика должна иметь свое полноправное министерство иностранных дел, регулирующее внешнеполитическую экономическую деятельность. He's as famous in Central Asia as Boris Yeltsin is in Russia, and he's now achieving increased national prominence. His latest book, called Without Left or Right, detailing his political philosophy, has been snapped up by his supporters. So far, there have been limits to the political freedoms he's tolerated. He banned demonstrations by opposition parties within his republic, saying they could lead to violence. Two weeks ago, he said he also couldn't envisage a time when Kazakhstan would have to develop its own armed forces to use against neighboring states. Сегодня необходимости о том, чтобы создавать свою армию, во-первых, нет, во-вторых, это накладно. И как можно разделить армию, которая имеет и военно-морской флот, и ракетно-ядерные комплексы везде всюду? Это было бы чревато не только для Советского Союза, для всего мира. Today, Nazarbayev is having to consider the answers to those questions. With the Soviet Union breaking up, the man who says Kazakhstan should stay within it also says it may be time to develop defenses in case of conflict. Российская армия создается. Министр обороны. Белоруссия объявила и Украина независимость, армия создается. Сейчас, наверное, в других республиках и в Средней Азии тоже пойдет это все. То есть совсем изменился за эти несколько дней обстановка, понимаете? Away from the political maelstrom in Moscow, Nazarbayev returns to his official residence deep in the countryside outside Alma Ata. There, he spends time with his family and three grandsons. After all the hard work, he says, the children help remind him of the rhythm of normal life. And at home, there are reminders of his public duties as well. Photographs with other presidents, with whom now, he says, he wants increasing contact. The most difficult work is always on the screen. 
вне Юпитеров, поэтому э, пользоваться доверием в наше трудное время народа и называться президентом, это прежде всего не красные дорожки и не телевизионная камера, а это в основном самоограничение и работа, я так считаю. Оно так и есть на самом деле. There's a huge hammer and sickle engraved in the grass outside the parliament building in Kazakhstan. This week, the president, who's still a Communist Party member, told the Supreme Soviet in Moscow that if he stays in the Soviet Union, he'll want a better deal for the Kazakh people. Kazakhstan will never be under the shadow of any one region and will never be for anyone's older brother. We will enter the Soviet Union only with equal rights and equal opportunities. Thank you very much for your attention. Sultan Nazarbayev will be on the move again soon. He's due to travel to London next month in the ongoing search for foreign investment. A political beneficiary of last week's events who is now preparing for the future. For World Monitor, I'm Simon Marks in Moscow.